fun on the backside. Uh, <clears throat> the front side, I got off to a good start like I wanted. I buried, uh, well, I didn't birdie number two, but I buried three and four, and then I bogeyed five and five and six and gave it back. And then two good shots on number uh, nine to about six feet with a five iron. Missed it though, made birdie though. Then a par 10, and I hit two good shots in on 11 to about 30 feet and two putted for a birdie. Then I made a hold it from a, with a seven iron on number 12, and then it seemed like the, the hole just started keep getting in the way. I think I birdied uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, and I finally made a par, felt like, man, I messed up. <laughs> and then and then uh, hit a good putt on the last hole too, it almost went in, but uh, that backside was a lot of fun. But there's a lot of birdie holes out there on the, you can get it going on that backside. You know, you get two or three under on the front, and then uh, the backside is, where you can kind of take advantage of the course, I believe. Uh, back to that hole in one, uh, what was the distance? What was your plane when it was in the air? Were you thinking this is going to be a good shot? Can you take us through that hole in one? Yeah, I hit a seven iron. I think it was uh, 194, but it was downhill, like seven or eight. And I hit a good shot. I thought uh, it started, the wind was blowing left to right too, and started a little bit left, and the wind drifted it back and landed and just, I thought it was going to be close, but then it uh, disappeared. So that was quite a, uh, my only second hole in one I made in competition. So that's pretty, pretty fun. How does it affect you? I mean, mentally on the next tee, I mean, obviously we saw we did after that, but uh, you seem like a pretty low key guy. Did it uh, rattle you in any ways? No, it was, uh, you know, you kind of, got to keep going you know especially since I didn't get off to a very good start yesterday I needed to go pretty low today to well maybe I thought if I played really good the last two days I could maybe finish in the top 10 because you know starting nine behind is uh, going to be hard to ever catch anybody with two days left especially when the course is in such good shape and the greens are great to, if you hit good putts are going in so you know they're, they're going to go low but uh I thought uh, finally made it, you know, seemed like maybe get the round going. Because I hit a lot of good shots, just kind of wasn't converting early. But after that, it seemed like I converted a lot. What was the difference in the playing conditions from yesterday to today? Or were they about the same? I think the wind's blowing a little bit more today. Uh, I just didn't do a very good job of playing yesterday. And uh, today, I hit a lot of good shots and had a lot of good opportunities and I converted on them. Yesterday, I, don't, I think I, I don't even remember if I even made a couple one putts. And today I putted good, so big difference. Can you take us through your last month, uh, you know, several senior majors and then these last week at Oakmont, what was that like, it, like going from here to there and now back again? You know, last week was, uh, that's a tough golf course. I mean, it makes this one seem like a, <laughs> a lot easier. I'm not having any, I'm having a little trouble getting putts to the hole because the greens last week were so fast. But uh, this month hey, has been, you know, this is my sixth week in a row. We've played uh, four, well, I've played four majors out of the six weeks. Uh, I'm really looking forward to next week to have some time off. Uh, you know, the last two terms, especially the, uh, there at the cricket club, the, the conditions were tough. I mean, the wind blew, the greens were firm, which actually helped me, I thought, for the open. But uh, I just didn't drive it well in the open. And uh, if one thing about the open, if you it penalizes every shot you you don't hit right. And so, uh, but it was my first open, and I was glad to play. I mean, I didn't play like I wanted, but uh, I was there, so I can at least say I was there. And you were sectional qualifying. Yes, uh, after Des Moines, uh, I flew to uh, Columbus. Uh, got in there quite late, about 2.30 in the morning. Got up at 4.45, went and played two golf courses I've never seen, and uh, played well. And then it just seems like, man, ever since then, 36 holes in one day, and I haven't, and then fly over to the cricket club, and then that course beats you up too, and it just seems like I hadn't got much rest. and. Uh, like I said, I'm really looking forward to next week.